Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil. Servant of God, servant of the God who loves us and um, sits on his throne and all the glory to him. And um, we're going to talk about effective microbes in the next two video and what exactly uh, is in effective microbes. So what are these effective microbes? Well, there are three different type of bacteria that um, working together produce uh, an excellent source of soil um, life that is important in a lot of reasons. And I'll, as I go through the different bacteria, you'll see why they are good for your soil. The first one being the lactate bacteria. Um, the lactate bacteria uh, works well in both aerobic and anaerobic um, environments. And um, and this is important with soil that's real tight um, and lack of oxygen is a breeding ground for pathogens that are also anaerobic and um, they will they will make your soil bad by uh, and you'll know you'll smell it and, it's, and it'll be like spoiled soil and that's because some pathogens got in there in the areas where there was a little less oxygen than um, than a, a, you know, a usual aerobic bacteria needs, which is not a lot. Um, so what they do is they basically crowd out pathogens, um, and uh, this, therefore they depress, you know, depress, uh, suppress, I should say, diseases caused by those pathogens by crowding out the pathogens and using up the resources that the pathogens are competing for. And uh, by crowding them out and eating up the resources that they want, you uh, uh, limit your um, disease-carrying uh, pathogens that are really bad for your root systems of any plant. Lactate bacteria have a sterilizing effect in that sense, and uh, they also help uh, proliferate nematode population. You know, if you have a heavy, different type of nematodes that are not good for your root system, that a lactic acid sterilizes that soil and it's kind of a, um, a protection against uh, nematodes that are associated with different plant diseases. And there's, a, there's some out there, I'll tell you. You'll notice your plant not doing well. Um, and, and usually in some cases that's because uh, it's got a, a, some sort of disease that came from a nematode. Lactic bacteria also participate in breaking down cellulite and lignified organic matter in the soil, making it plant ready. Um, because of the lactic acid breaks it down. Um, and this is real good stuff, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about it after. So they, they acids break down uh, the cellulitic and lignified organic matter, you know, and we want to break down plants that are really like loaded with celluloid, real strong stem. The, the lactic bacteria helps break that down quicker through the, the lactic acids. And then finally, the lactic acids, um, when they, as they play a role with the other two bacteria, which are a photosynthetic and a yeast bacteria, they help. Um, break down the carbohydrates and sugars that they pass when they take it from the plant and they produce more, you know, keep producing carbohydrates and sugars. You don't want a soil loaded with that, uh, all the sugars and stuff, because that makes it real sticky, once again, pointing away toward pathogens. And so what they do is they convert that those sugars and carbohydrates leaked by the photosynthetic and uh, yeast bacteria and uh, make it into a lactic bacteria which like I said is a good thing so yeast real I mean uh, the not yeast but the photo, uh, lactic bacteria excuse me uh, really it plays a, a huge part in the trio of the effect of microbes by those things crowding out pathogens breaking down uh, cellulite and lignified organic matter making a plant ready sterilizing the soil against disease associated um, nematodes and um, they, they eat up the sugar and carbohydrates left over from the 
um, ye uh, photosynthetic and yeast bacteria, just making it a nice sterile soil, as you can see. So, this is Earthman from Lower Gamma's Living Soil. Um, just want to tell you, uh, this is lactate. This there's a couple lactate bacteria I use from uh, organic whole milk, raw milk, unpasteurized, and they're very, very effective. And that's just one of the small ingredients that's in Grovana, um, my um, inoculated wheat bran product that I sell. And uh, just so, you know, just want to throw a little, uh, you know, word out there for that because Grovana is amazing stuff. And it's very easy to order. I'll put a link down below this video. May God bless you and your day.